want to hear who's here. I want to say, I want you to say, we are sure. Who's here? You're not here. Who's here? That's good. Okay, so this is Star Wars, I know. This is Darth Vader, my best friend. And this is Master Yoda, who's also my best friend. And why I decided to talk about Star Wars is because the seventh episode is coming next week. So, since I'm a full time geek, I told myself, let's talk about Wiki Stage. I hope this won't let me down. It is letting me down. Okay. Good. So the question is, are you sure you are marketable? Before coming, I always ask questions to my friends. And I ask the question, do you know what is personal marketability? The answers were yes, no, and not sure. And here are the responses. Oh, good. Awesome. I remember this one. It's 25%. Said yes. Forty-five percent said no. And some honest people, twenty-nine percent, said that they are not sure. So let's do this here. Do you know what is personal marketability? If you know, say yeah. Do you know what it is? Okay. I'm talking to the people who know it. If you know what it is, say yes. Who knows what it is? Yeah. Okay, nobody knows. <laughs> Who doesn't know? Say no. Okay, good. So I didn't come here for nothing. And then other people who are not sure, you know? Okay, who's not sure? Good, don't say anything. Let's define together what is marketability. Marketability is the relative is at which an item can be sold at for a price at which similar items are sold. You have two items. This costs $10. This costs $10. But when you decide to buy one item, you'll do it with ease. You're certainly going to choose this one. That's marketability. It's the ease that pushes you to buy. Now, personal marketability refers to how desirable a candidate, which is uh, one of you, for employment consideration compared to other candidates, other products. In other words, what he or she is worth as a prospective hire. What can you give to the enterprise? Bubaka, Bubaka, I'm here Now we're going to talk about measuring this marketability. Now that we know what it is, we're going to talk on about on how to measure it. Measuring your marketability is asking you, yourself these questions. First, are your current studies or job serving your purpose, your goal? Do you love what you're doing. If you don't, just stop, change the field. Second, your education, certification, training are current. Do you need to get another degree, another diploma to get a promotion? And if the answer, it, if the answer is no here, then you didn't get it right. Third, your skills and industry knowledge. And, of course, each and every one of you came here to listen to all these awesome guys and somebody is calling me. Okay, next time. We came here, we're either students, professionals, or we just came here because we have nothing to do. So. Your industry, your studies, what you love to do, your passion. Are you knowledgeable enough 
in this passion, in this industry. And you'll never get the yes answer. If you get the yes answer, then you're wrong. Bro, <coughs> excuse me. Your networking and communication activities are constant. You have to network because showing yourself as a potential hire means that first you have to know people and knowing people happens in events happens in uh, conferences like this and some other uh, places second your communication activities first the networking second the communication if you are in an event and then you don't go to Aesan and ask him about his experience, about what he's looking for as a candidate, then you're wrong. Fifth, you are properly, and I say properly, present on professional social networks. And I'm not talking about Facebook. Professional networks, we're gonna talk about LinkedIn, for example, or Viadeu, the one I don't use. On LinkedIn, when I say properly, you need to put your name. If your name is Aysan Berti, don't put Anusha Latest. Okay? Anusha <laughs> Pancha, it's not professional, okay? <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're okay on this one? Are we okay on this one? Yeah. Good. Change your name because I know someone. And six, your life and work or studies. I'm in balance because if you give too much importance to your personal life, it will ruin your professional life. If you do the opposite, you'll be like me. Oh, sorry. You'll be like somebody. But uh, I'm a geek. Next to me. Uh, I don't care. Anyway, now that you measured your marketability, you know that you need to do something. This is. Personal, this is between you and yourself. Next, you're gonna have to benchmark. Benchmarking means comparing yourself to other people. Now, the employment market is full of competition. Everybody here is in a competition. So make sure you'll be on the top, but compare yourself to the right people. Do never compare yourself to these guys. Someone who has been there since the beginning of time. You're not going to compare yourself to someone who's 60, who has 21 uh, companies. This will kill you. Second, someone who chose the wrong path to succeed. Third, someone who looks nice, but who's bad and makes the bad side look good. Someone who only applies, someone who executes, who have no knowledge. You're not going to compare yourself to someone who starts studies at third grade, okay? And someone like Dart Sidious, who was on both sides as Council Property and the leader of the dark side. People who show the good side while they're being the bad side on the other side. <coughs> other side. And certainly, certainly, and please don't do this, don't compare yourself to this guy saying, I'll teach you your khidma, I'm shigani. Okay? Good. Now, that you benchmark yourself, you compare yourself to people, you need to take action. Take an action by enhancing and boosting your marketability in the market the employment market because there are a lot of <coughs> companies looking for good profiles but the best are the ones who take these hiring posts so to enhance your marketability excuse me I'm a little tired first use your name as I said as a brand especially in your email signature. Don't leave your email signature sent from my Samsung S6, okay? 
Second, meet specific field employers' needs. And what I, what I mean by this is that you have to choose one field and be the best you can be to meet the needs of the company that is in the same field and that is hiring your profile. Next, maintain a complete and smart profile online. When you go on LinkedIn and you find your, <coughs> your profile and your name is proper, written in capitals, don't forget this, write the first word in capitals. If you're using it in French, your, <coughs> your last name should be written all capitals. If you're using it in English, first letter in capitals, please. I always suffer with this. And keep it up to date. You have experience, volunteering, certifications, trainings, and studies. And on the top of that, you can post from time to time something. It's not just for looking for jobs. You can use it to show that you know something. You can post articles, you can uh, post updates about what you're doing, about what, what's happening, but in a specific, clear, professional frame. Next, ask for help, because everybody needs help. I need help, Rani needs help, Aisa needs help, needs help, and everybody here needs help. Look for good mentors. Next, become active in professional groups and events. And events, I read, I read in bold because it's really important. That's where I found what I want to do. Next, they're calling me from our source. Okay, I'm not taking time. Take side trainings. You don't have to study only what you're studying. If you're in uh, computer science, for example, you can't take business classes because someday, like Hisham, you're going to launch your, your own company and you'll need the business side. That's an example. Seven. Take on a new project at work, at studies, if you're in a club, if you're a, in a student's club, for example, if you're in, uh, in associations, in groups, just take new projects to try something new. And most importantly, be flexible. Be anything. Be like water. Whenever it's put in something, it takes the shape. Somebody talked about uh, flexibility before someone is going to go further. So to recap, you, as a person, are a brand. And the same way you defend any cause in this universe, like I defend Batman in the DC universe, you should defend yourself as a brand and make the best of your efforts to straighten your image because your image represents you, your image is you, your image is your marketability. And enhance your marketability in the local employment market and why not the potential international market. One last thing, this is not in my presentation. I need I said earlier, obey, obey, obey your parents. Because this is the key of success. Whatever I said here doesn't count if your parents are not okay with it. Thank you very much. <laughs>